What's up guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky and today we are going to take a look at the Foundation update which is the biggest update for No Man's Sky since a long time but anyways as you can well might notice that there are a couple of new game modes that came out so just to see if this game can redeem itself from the horrifyingness of its last time so first of all we can see there is a game mode and the sounds or the music is extremely loud. I do not know, I did go into the game and changed it, but yeah. Anyways, game mode, there's normal, which is, um, you know, just a normal game and all that kind of stuff. And we can see that that's the last time I've played, which was, yeah, that time. Then we have survival, where everything is more aggressive and extreme and, uh, yeah, all that kind of things. And then we have the creative. Now creative is unlimited everything and you can just have your creativity fly out the window and you can just enjoy yourself. But we are going for normal. And we are here. Oh man, such a long time since I've been here. And uh, yeah, this is where we left off and this is my beautiful ship which we had purchased I think the last episode or last time we played No Man's Sky. But yeah, this is the quick menu. As you guys can see, you just press X and you can do a couple of things uh, now it's just a torch but they are like you can recharge almost instantly um via the quick menu like recharge your thrusters and your weapons and all that one of the thing i did notice of the update is these guys see how happy they are except that one that guy's an asshole but all the things still look the same there's still a trade terminal and there is still the door that you need the uh, stone thingy for or whatever atlas pass and now if we go ahead and talk to this guy, which is quite interesting. He is an assistant, uh, geek, standing, part, whatever. What he does is he, you can hire him to work for you, okay? Because there are base building, there is a base building mechanic in this game now, which is actually pretty cool. So you can come to these guys and you can hire them and they will work for you. Like scientists will try to make uh, new discoveries and research and all that i think there's that guy was a constructor or something and yeah and that's like the normal guy there's some um, isotopes right here or carbon and yeah that's basically it you can like i said you could come back to these guys and you can hire them all right so i thought i did hear a so, yeah it must be me i thought i heard something around here but yeah anyways most things are still the same over here. This is my multi-tool. This is my inventory slots uh, with all the upgrades. If you guys, for the new guys, everybody who's newly watching, these are the upgrades and stuff I've done so far. It took me quite a while because I was on a very dangerous planet and I wanted all the upgrades so I can just survive long enough. And on that planet, there was a crap ton of, um, I don't know what was it called, em em emerald, 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 I don't know. But yeah, these are all the upgrades, this is all the stuff I have. This is our Starship 33 slot. We have also a ton of upgrades. And uh, I see there's a couple of things that are broken. Hyperdrive, we need a dynamic resonator and some heridium. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to get that, but I will get it somewhere. And yeah, multi-tool, all the things was basically just for mining and not overheating as quickly. That's what I was aiming for. Alright, so let's jump on ahead and let's go to the next thing they've added into the game. So some of these menus in the, in, uh, the ship, wow that is stupid loud. Um, many of the things here have been changed as well, there's extra warning systems and all cool kind of things. And uh, yeah, it's all pretty cool, it's pretty cool. I haven't noticed much, but there's a planet we want to go to. Um, I think there are three planets in, the, in this system, not too sure, but let's head to one. Uh, just trying to remember the controls and... Holy hell, everything is so loud. Why? But there are fragers or frigates or freights, whatever you want to call them. These huge ones. Let's quickly walk to them. These huge ass ships. Space station, yeah, I don't know if that's really a space station, it's more frigate or anything than a station. But what they have added in the game as well is you can purchase one of these bad boys. Yep, 
That is true. You can purchase these guys. That is freaking amazing. So let's see if we cannot find one where we can enter in. Oh, that is really, really loud. Maybe I should just quickly see if I cannot not bump into this thing. Try to... I want to get the, uh, what do you call it, the sounds. I want to focus on the sound. Just to get the... So it's not so loud. It's driving me nuts. It's making me confused. But this is a new icon. I haven't seen that before. Let me just quickly change the volume to... See how... That was about 10. 10 sounds good. That is more manageable. It sounds way better. I can hear myself and all. So, uh, controls. There's something I want to do. Let's go to options. I want flight controls. Inverted, please. There we go. Awesome. Much better. Much better. Okay. So, let's go into one of these guys and explore and see what they look like on the inside. I've never been in one. And I'm pretty sure you could not enter one in the previous patch or the previous builds. But this is new for me. Very new. Uh, coming in for a landing. Oh, this looks awesome. Let's take a land. Turn around. Oh, baby. Okay, frames are a bit gone, but I did adjust my graphics to high settings. So I should just bring it back to low. So I can just at least have frames. So where does this lead? Uh, nowhere. Alright. Going upstairs. Let's open this door. Uh, it's down there. That's the stairs downwards. That's more stairs. Wow, there's a lot of stairs here. I want to lay a complaint. It's not wheelchair accessible. Okay, so let's go this way. Oh, wow. What's up, buddy? Wow, look at this place. Now that looks awesome. That is really, really cool. Now... Where do I go? Probably that guy. Let's go and see if we cannot... I want, I'm just curious to see. These things must cost like a freaking ton of money. You know, like a lot. Cool place you got here, bro. How much do you charge for it? Yeah, yes. Hello, I'm captain of the freighter. That's the name I was looking for, a freighter. Make an offer. Very good, you won't regret it. Mm-hmm. A 13 slot... For 7.2 mil? Was that correct? Wanna see? Yeah, yeah, I've heard your dribble before, please. Just wanna make sure. Mm. 7.2, we have 7.6. But 13 slot, is that more or less? I know you can stack things as well, you know? More inventory management. Yeah, that's 13. Holy hell, just shut up. Jeez, I should wipe your species out. But this thing is cool. I like this. It kind of reminds me of, like, Mass Effect. What's that little ball thing? Hmm. Huh. So cool. Ah, and there's the deck I can see. Yeah, this is the deck, isn't it? That's what it's called? The deck? I don't know. Anyways, let's get back to the ship. I want to get to a planet and see if I cannot start building a base or something. Because that's what I want. Oh, that's pretty cool. But I think this is really cool. You should, guys, you guys should let me know in the comment section. What do you guys think about this? Will this update redeem No Man's Sky? What do you guys think? I think this this will be an interesting mechanic. Hopefully, it doesn't get too boring, just like the previous version of this game. Okay, so can I launch? Um, there we go. Off we go. And there's another ship leaving. I'm pretty sure you can trade. I just want to turn around and see how this... Oh, wow. What the hell? What's going on? Why are we going back? I don't want to go back. Who says I want to go back? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe I was flying too close and turned around and... Uh, Game decided like, oh, you want to come back in? Oh, you're more than welcome. Let, uh, let me do the honors for you. Let me fly your ship for you. It's like, no. Stop controlling my ship. It's my ship. Leave me alone. So let's get make some distance here. All right. Uh, 
No, that was the wrong thing. I want lasers. Uh, how do I do that? There we go. Boom. Oh, yeah. So, how long can I mine? I forgot. Man, it's such a long time since I played this game. Yeah, there it goes. Now it's overheating. Okay, and that is... Mm, iron? More iron? Yeah, that looks like more iron. Not interested. So, let's go to this guy. Okay, so we did a scan. It's showing us there's gold, nickel, and iridium on this planet. And it's undiscovered. Oh, yeah. Now, the, as far as I understand, you should actually find a habitable 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 had had a a base you can claim for yourself basically habitable is that right don't sound right to me anyways find should find such a base and then you unlock the base building tools if i'm not mistaken so let's see if we cannot find a place here there should be one if we can Maybe, I don't know. I do not know. Okay, land. Oh, I was pressing spacebar all the time. <laughs> Idiot. Alright. Hello, new planet. Okay, that's annoying. I hate it. It's like they, they did not do any effort in, uh, in the sounds of all the creatures. Because I've heard that sound on different creatures on so many planets. Okay. I did play this game for like 55 hours. Well, according to Steam. So, yeah, this is just an outpost to discover. But it's not the antenna thing which shows you where different locations are and whatnot. But it's been a while since I played. And you guys should also let me know in the comment section if you guys are, like, interested. If you guys want to see more of a series. Yeah. Also, last thing before we head off to find another place. Uh, today is Monday for you guys, and um, on Tuesday I am moving to a new apartment, Tuesday and Wednesday, well Tuesday. I want to tell you guys that on Wednesday, or Tuesday there might not be a video, okay? On Wednesday there might be, it depends on how tired I was from the moving, if you guys would understand. But Thursday, definitely a video. And then Friday as well. But Wednesday I will try to. You know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And yeah. So let me quickly see if I cannot find a habitable place. And I'll bring you guys right back. And welcome back, peeps. So we're coming in for a landing. Habitable base inbound. So basically what you do is fly around close proximity to all the planets. And you just keep on pressing C and doing a stupid ass maneuver here. Yeah, you just press C and then it would show up the base building or the habitable base. And then you should just go and claim it for yourself. Alright, let's just get in close. Yeah, um, wrong button again, baboon. Try that again. There we go. There we go, you're learning, you're learning. And let's, did I just land it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm used to the invert, I've been flying so much. Okay, we, I thought we landed on the uh, base over here. But yeah, this is how it looks like. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And this is a quite a dangerous planet. <laughs> My heat shield's all up. Oh, wow. Anyways, yeah. So this is the starter base. There's nothing spectacular about it. Nothing spectacular at all. So let's go in and say hello. Oh, <laughs> look at all the things. And there we go. We come to this little screen, and it says press Z to start building. But I think that will be for the next episode. And that is a teleporter, and that is a previous base item cache. It's probably if you have more than one base, you can access the caches. And this little guy would help you teleport between bases. Yeah. I think that is that's a cool feature. That's a really cool feature. So now, if you like a planet, you can just build a base and just, you know, go there. Oh, this is so awesome. Let me guys, let me know what you think in the comment section, guys. I really want to know what is your opinion about this game. But anyways, it's a good time to put a pause in this video. So thank you so much, guys, for joining me here on Ark. Oh, not Ark. <laughs> no Man's Sky. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.